वेलकम टू कोड्स ऑफ एड टेक टूडे वील बी कवरिंग एसोसिएशन रूल माइनिंग स्पेसिफिकली एल्गोरिथम्स एसोसिएटेड विद इट दैट इज अ प्रायोरी एल्गोरिथम एंड एफ पी ग्रोथ एल्गोरिथम एसोसिएशन रूल माइनिंग इज यूज टू डिस्कवर हिडन रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन एट्रीब्यूट ऑफ द डेटा सेट स्पेशली इन ह्यूज डेटा सेट्स सो will start by opening a filing packer you can use either of the methods uh, mentioned in the previous videos that is you can open it either from the packer or you can open the file externally and you'll land in packer so go to explorer so you can choose your opening file over here data and we have a number of files over here you can choose any of the files for example let me choose uh, credit or banking data set you can either choose any of the files so i'm going to click open on this and then here the association rule mining will be associated with the associate tab so here you can see that we have the algorithm set but you cannot you're not able to access the start button you're not able to run the algorithm the case is same with fp group 2 so what we are going to do is we are going to make some changes in our data that is we are going to apply the pre processing steps so if you hover over this algorithm we it fp group or a priori you can see that they need binary values right so even on a priori we need binary attributes so what we are going to do is we are going to pre process the data to meet the specific requirements so go for pre process tab you can choose the filter and here in filters i'm going to go for supervised and you can see in the attribute you can see nominal to binary i'm going to convert all the nominal values to binary values so i'm going to click this and then we'll click on apply this is first step so when i do that i still do not have the start button I'm going to go for pre-process tab again. After applying this nominal filter, I'm going to apply a second filter. So click on Choose, Unsupervised, and you can go for Attribute. And you can see Numeric to Binary. There's another filter called Numeric to Binary. We're going to choose that Numeric to Binary filter, and Before we apply this filter, we need to make a few constraint changes on this. So I'm going to double click on this numeric to binary, and here you can see this value ignore class is set to false. Set it to true. Click on OK, and then apply. So you can see now the second filter is applied. Now go for your associate, and you'll be able to. start your a priori algorithm this is a priori algorithm with default conditions so if i click on start it will work on default conditions and you'll see so much information so if i have to change something okay so we happen to use a very huge uh, data set so if this error is coming So we'll try loading a smaller data set. Okay. So we'll load a smaller data set with less number of files. So I'm going to go and I'm going to open, say, whether nominal data set. Okay. This is a slightly bigger data set. Credit. So we'll try it on smaller data sets. Applying this a priori algorithm on smaller data sets. So you can use diabetes or I can use this is very small. Whether nominal is pretty small, so I'll run on this. Okay, so we're going to follow the same procedure quickly. So associate. So for whether nominal a priori algorithm is you can already choose it, but FP growth is not choosable. So you can just uh, let's start with a priori because I think it's already filtered. So you can click on start over here. and this is for uh, default ranges default support value and default data set size 
okay now what if we need to change the certain values or there's a requirement to change certain values on a priori like they maybe they want a minimal support range to be changed and incremental decrease confidence so how do you change this variable we're just going to go into Veka where you apply the a priori algorithm double click on this and you'll get a window to change values so incremental iterative decrease see they raised it as five uh, percent so it is already in five percent so we'll keep it as it is and minimum support value minimum support value is uh, asked to be 20 percent and uh, maximum is 100 percent so you're going to change the minimum support value is 20 percent so let me make it as uh, two 